welcome back to my channel and today we want to look at the new method or well, i wouldn't really say the new method the way to get your uh, your code to log into your e-learn portal where you can access your tma you can access your lecture details and so many other details okay your e-learn portal so i will still recommend you go and watch that other video though i will drop the link on how you can log in for the very first time you are logging in how you can get your new password your password for your e-learn portal i will drop the link at the end of this video now national open university has brought a new twist to opening your e-learn portal and it is required that for every login you will key in your code there's a code that will be sent to you that you key in before you can log in so it is still the normal i saw somebody asking in my other video if that uh, there's a new method it is still the same way of logging in but this time around you have to get the code a verification code will be sent to you for every login unlike before before you only just log in put your password and that is all but now you log in put your password and still go to your uh, to, you still get a code and key it in okay so we're gonna do it now especially for those because i've seen so many people complaining that they are having finding it dif difficult to access the code with all these um, um authentication apps as uh, stated here on the portal now it is just simple if you have two browsers on your phone mind you i'm using my phone so you can actually use your Android phone to get this done. This particular browser I'm using is Google Chrome. Okay. So now from this Google Chrome, we want to log in. Okay. You are using just your browser. You don't even need your Gmail app. Remember, I have a video there. Some people are having problem linking their school email to their Gmail app. So you don't even need your Gmail app for you to open your email. We'll look at it again. I've already done the video. I will drop the link. But we have to get our email code. Our code from our email. I'm not using any of these authentication apps. Because most times, many people find it challenging. So all you just do is open your email, get the code and come here to type it in. So let's start tap on login okay you scroll down see the details the details are already stated there since i already have the, the details of this um, elen portal i just only put in the password but if you are doing it for the first time please go and watch the other video on how you can get your password so you tap on your your password okay then as you tap on your uh, type in your password and then you you log in see the next page that comes out email factor say enter verification code for confirmation now to get this verification code these are using all those authentication app open your second browser let's go i'll use another browser now to open my email so that i'll get this verification code that has been sent to me i'm still using google still google browser the other one that consumes less data see it here okay this is the other browser that i have on my phone so i first of all go incognito remember that is what is clearly stated in that other video on how to open your email your student email using your browser on your phone okay i will drop the link of that video as well so we have gone in incognito see this um i am um, this icon here by the right that has something like two wheels under and a and a cap it's clearly showing incognito that is a, a 
an icon of incognito i just tap on it then i'll go incognito completely so the next thing in my search box i'm gonna type gmail.com okay so i tap on that gmail sign in there so let's see since i already have it too in my phone i have all the details of the email i want to open and the password i only just tap it and it will automatically be filled for me but if you do not have it already please watch that video carefully so that you know how to how to open your email okay using the browser on your phone it is still the same process so i already have it here i tap on next it's already saved on my phone so i don't even need to do any much work just tap on the email and then the password mm. let's see let me go back let me start next okay see my password here it's already saved then the next i tap on next okay and then my email will just open see it says open the gmail app now if you're having problem eh linking your school password your student password and um, student email linking it to your gmail you don't need to use the gmail app we are on the browser so you tap on the one down there use the web version and here it is see the confirmation code that has been sent 12668 let me let me copy it 126668 you tap on you go back to the google chrome where you were opening your browse your e-learn portal okay so that you just fill it in but i prefer to type it because sometimes if you just paste it there will be a challenge it will tell you error or something so let me just type it out one twenty six six eight then i tap on verify code verify code and here we are here we are here we are it has been opened for you this is your email you can access anything you want to access your schedule for your lectures your your you can watch my video okay your schedule for your lectures your tma although currently the tma is closed it's closed so you cannot you cannot do anything on your tma you can't answer them again because it is closed but you can still always check your elen portal okay please watch all the videos there you you will um, find everything you find everything you need how to open your elen portal and how to access your email your student email using your phone and your browser now this one is how to get the verification email uh, code rather the verification code without using all those authentication apps you can just use only your browser and then you open your email remember for every login every login to your elen portal you must key in that code it's compulsory the code will always be sent to you so if you're having all this problem activating multi-factor authentication and all you don't need to stress yourself just use your browser and follow this process okay i wish you all the best in your exams and i pray that you come successful 
another thing about uh, education is learn read read at least read i see some people complaining that even if they read they get low marks Mm-mm. read just read let it be that you read okay go through past questions most of the past questions the questions always reoccur again over and over again okay i will do another video on how to really score good mark how to score good mark okay so no two ways about it just read and i wish you all the success thank you for watching don't feel to subscribe i have more videos to upload